Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we're going to be going through the 5 plus 1 skills that the data analyst needs in order to succeed in the field. Right, starting with the most important skill that a data analyst or even a data scientist should have is the ability to turn data into insights. A lot of people overlook this, a lot of articles I read online they don't even mention about this ability, but the reality is if you are not able to turn your data and your analysis into valuable and actionable insights, then the organization is not going to value you that much. You'll need to ensure that you're measuring the right thing by asking the right questions so, you, so you're going to uh, generate some very valuable insights which then the organization is going to use in their decision making process. Now a lot of people confuse commentary with insights. The difference between commentary and insights is that insights focus more on the why this thing has happened and how can we possibly fix it. Commentary just stop on descriptive analytics which are also very important for the organization. Actually, you'll need descriptive analytics first before you move into insights. To really master insights, you'll need to be able to tell a story from the data. You will need to present your results and analysis in the right sequence using very clear visuals in order to make it look like a story where people and businesses can follow and understand. Now, the second most important skill that a data analyst needs to succeed is problem solving skills. In the real world of data analytics, no problem is the same and certainly no solution is the same either. There are no simple rules where you can simply follow and solve every problem. Therefore, you'll need to be able to solve your own problems effectively and efficiently. Now, what do I mean by that? Efficiently, I mean that we do not live in a perfect world where we have um, uh, access to all the resources available. We will simply have to provide the best solution possible with the current resources we have at the time we have. And effectively, I mean that we have to provide the best solution possible that solves the problem to 100%, not just some of the problem. Analysts should clearly state the problem they are trying to solve and identify the information they need to solve that problem. Then they need to go and gather those information, clean it and bring it together, use their amazing analytical techniques in order to model the data and start analyzing the results of that modeling in order to arrive to a conclusion, an answer to the problem they are trying to solve. They need to be able to answer the why this has happened and how can we possibly fix it. Problem solved. Now looking at the third most important skill that the data analyst should have is technical skills. Sure. Technical skills is actually the most obvious skill that the data analyst should have considering data analysts as viewed as tech geeks. Technical skills will help the analyst to be better and faster when it comes to analyzing data, solving problems and providing insights. Now. Looking at industry level, the most used software uh, is Excel. So whether we like it or not, a data analyst should be masters of Excel. Seeing the bigger picture and based on my experience, I understand why Excel sits on top of the throne. Senior managers and executives will not just download and use Python. They want something very simple and easy to use where they can understand what's going on and also manipulate the numbers for those who know what I mean. So Excel is a winner here. If you want to get started in Excel, I have three uh, Excel tutorials in my YouTube channel, which I'm going to have the link below. The next most important technical skill I would say is SQL or any other database where you can still query and write SQL in it. Now, looking at the fundamentals, all the data, the raw data that you will be using is within SQL. So it makes sense for you to learn how to write SQL and use SQL in order to be able to retrieve that data and start your analysis. SQL also integrates with a lot of the visualization tools like uh, Power BI, Tableau and ClickSense and it also integrates with a lot of the big data tools like 
Azure, uh, Google Cloud Platform, and AWS. So you can use that in order to automate all your report and eliminate all the manual work. If you want to get started in SQL, again, I have three uh, video tutorials, three SQL tutorials in my YouTube channel, where I'm going to have the link in the description. After SQL, I suggest you start learning how to use a visualization tool like Power BI, Tableau, or ClickSense. These visualization tools, they allow more functionality than Excel, and they are able to handle big data better than Excel. However, please note that if you're mistakenly taking those tools as databases tools, and you have all your modeling and joins and calculated fields within the tool, then this tool is going to be useless because it's going to be so slow and clunky and then people are going to stop using it. I have experienced this many times in organizations where they build their databases and all their analysis within the tool and then this tool is so slow and clunky where people stop using it and they go back to using Excel. Lastly, I would suggest learning how to use Python and R. Now, every other article I have read and every other video I have watched online, they start by suggesting learning Python and R first over the tools I suggested, which makes me wonder if I'm wrong and they are right, or if they have no idea how the real world of data works. Don't get me wrong, I love using Python, but only if the occasion calls for it, because machine learning is not the answer to every possible problem. People are trying to force machine learning in problems where you can simply solve them with a simple rule-based model. But anyway, Python and R are actually very useful when it comes to statistical and machine learning projects like uh, predictive analytics, creating run rates, creating uh, segmentations, and many more. Usually, these projects are run by more advanced data analysts or data scientists. Please note that the ability to learn new software fast is the most critical thing here as it might be Python and R today, but it can change tomorrow. The fourth most important skill that the data analyst should have is communication skills. Now, data analysts don't just interact with their computer all day, although some wish that was true. They actually have to stand up and go and speak to people in the business. Some examples are the following. Let's say you've done some great analysis and you have some great insights and your manager asks you to pull up a presentation and go and speak to people and present your results. So you have to got, have good communication skills to communicate your insights across the business. Another example is let's say you need some data that doesn't exist in the database. So you need to go and find the right people and ask the right questions to get that data that you need for your analysis. Another example is that maybe you've been tasked to go and help the X team, let's say the marketing team, to understand their performance. So you have to actually physically go there, speak with people, and map the whole project from conception to conclusion. See, data analysts do a lot more than just spending the whole day in front of their computer. So, based on all the examples I provided above, if your communication skills are not good enough, then your analysis and results is not going to be good enough and then your progression as a data analyst is not going to be great. So communication skills are very, very important as a data analyst. Now, the fifth most important skill that the data analyst needs is critical thinking. Critical thinking is not the same as problem solving described above. The difference is that every analyst is going to be engaged in some sort of problem solving throughout their, ca their career but whether, whether or not they're going to be critical about it is a different question. Critical thinking is when you challenge your own assumptions. When you're trying to, when you're asking yourself questions, right, am I right? Am I thinking this through? Is there a better way of doing this? Is there a reason why X is asking me to follow this direction? Should I follow this direction over this direction? Why follow this direction over this direction? It's generally constantly asking yourself if you're doing things right and if there, is, if there is another way of doing things right or if you're wrong and other people are right. Problem solving is going to have an end date to it as problems rise and go, while critical thinking is more of an ongoing process throughout your career and generally in life. Now, the reason I included both is because as an analyst, 
critical thinking is going to help you support your problem solving and then you're going to come up with better solutions for the business. Hence, both of them are very important. By the way, if you feel that you're getting enough value out of this video, please click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Now, the five plus one skill that the data analyst should have is creativity. The reason I said five plus one is because creativity is an art wherever you apply it, not just in data analytics. Now, as a data analyst, you will be presented with multiple different scenarios on your daily routine that will not have a right way of doing things, nor a guide to follow on how to do things. So you're going to have to get creative when providing solutions. Some examples now on areas you can get creative as a data analyst are the following. Maybe you want to get creative on the kind of software you're going to use for, for your analysis. Or you can get creative around the model you're going to use for your analysis. Additionally, you can get very creative when it comes to designing new reports from scratch. So the kind of visuals or the kind of tables you're going to include in your reports. Also, you can get very creative when it comes to uh, creating insights and telling a story on the, the insights. So you're going to get creative on how you present that story. Another example is that you can get very creative when it comes to automating all your reports and minimizing all manual work. So the, this list can actually go on and on forever, but the idea is that you can get creative in so many different ways as an analyst as long as it's going to add more value to the business or yourself as an individual. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of this video. If you did, please click that like button and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions on the skills or if you want to comment on one of the skills or if you have different views around the skills, please let me know in the comments below as I am very curious to see what you think. Thanks for watching.